was being attacked. I'm fine. Well, clearly the offender was interrupted before he could do any real harm. <clears throat> um, the vase, it got accidentally, yeah. it got just knocked over, so. Well, you were undoubtedly fending off Mr. Sher's on one. Carly, I warned you not to do this. Why would you do this? Do what? Come and check on Brenda and make sure she's still breathing? No, you don't care about me and Brenda. All you care about is interrupting us. I didn't us. even that's... know you were here. That's that's true. Actually, when the Valkyrie arrived, I confessed I, I feared Mr. Sir had fled with uh, the Divine One in tow. Thank okay. you. You may be innocent and all this, but she knew exactly what she was doing. Stop planning. Stop sabotaging. I don't need to sabotage. You're doing a fine job okay, on your own. Look, I don't care. Just stop it. Because nothing will keep me from being with Brenda. You know what? If you want to get back together with Brenda, have at it. But don't be surprised when it falls apart again, and it will because you guys make each other miserable. Keep telling yourself that because it's easier to accept that Brenda makes me happier than you do. She makes you happy? That's why you left her at the altar. And let me think, Jax left her too. Why? Because she's a spoiled brat. You always hated Brenda, for no good reason. Yeah, you're damn right I hate her, because she uses Jason. Yeah, and that's your job. I've been to hell and back with Jason, and I've been to hell and back with you. I'm not jealous of you and Brenda. I don't want to see her destroy you. Can't you just live your own damn life and let me live mine? Mr. Sir was most incensed. Uh, yeah. Well, he doesn't like her and she doesn't know how to deal with him, so. If I might make an observation, it would seem, in my humble opinion, that the, that the real problem is that Mr. Sir and the Valkyrie are so much alike that they can't keep from butting heads. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to disagree with you I on that one. I don't care who you sleep with! Spinelli, can you please tell Jason I stopped by? up with do not let her drag you into it i am done with interference the, the, the jackal meant no disrespect by his untimely intrusion i sincerely thought the divine one was in grave danger yeah, i understand and i'm really lucky to have you looking out for me but yeah and i, I will always keep your best interests at heart unlike others who put their primal urges okay. above other okay. people's we safety don't need, we don't need to can't i need to can we go to my house i need privacy you know what I mean? I'm sorry, Stone Cold issued specific orders. The Divine One is not to leave the premises under any circumstances. Yes, but I just, uh, I, uh, I really, really, Spinelli, please, could you just respect my choices? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. I got it. I got it. Okay. No. Uh, Why aren't you dressed? Um, Walt, for what? <sighs> the cocktail reception. Given by one of ASEC's major contributors at his hotel tonight. Brenda, Brenda, I told you about this days ago. Please, just go get ready. I need you there. I, I need you to charm this fellow out of some more money. Uh, Not tonight. I'm, I'm not even supposed to be out, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. probably the last thing that uh, I should be doing is going and having small talk with a bunch of people who I don't care about. I mean, I understand it's important to you. It is vital. But it's... Without contributions like this man can give us, ASEC can't afford to keep their doors open, let alone fund the programs that the kids need. Is it okay? Yeah, I'll go with you. Okay, great. <laughs> not a chance. Uh, uh but. I just offered to escort her to the charity. Will you got a problem with that? You don't know. 
Um, you are a known crime figure who was just tried for murder. Actually, uh, I was exonerated. There is no way Brenda can afford to be seen in public okay. with you, let alone anywhere else. Well, I'm pretty sure that who I'm seen in public with is my business. No, so let's no, just... no. When you are parading someone around at an event for a charity that I have spent years building, it becomes my business. Well, Sonny's my priority. I thought ASEC was. Okay. You're, you're being ridiculous. Brenda, I am begging you. There is a room full of people waiting for us. For you. Okay, well, if it's that important, then I'll just go get dressed and we'll go, right? We'll all go yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be right down, okay? Yeah. Uh, if you think you can use the charity to drive a wedge between me and Brenda. I got news for you. Ain't gonna happen. Dr. Leslie Floyd, pick up line two. Dr. Leslie Floyd, pick well, up line two. Hey, me. I'm dying over here. Not to worry. I'll go quietly. No such luck. Are you working? Yes, yeah, I was ready to come back. Oh. Well, maybe you should, um, take tomorrow off and hang out with me. Actually, I'm almost done. What about tonight? I can't tonight. I have to go to this stupid party. Ah, uh, the crazy life of the celebrity do-gooder. Exactly. Slap on a <laughs> smile. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and try to have fun, okay? Bye.